Imagine a world full of flying islands that you explore on your airship built from materials you collected. Imagine the adventure and excitement of finding something new while exploring. Imagine the farms you will build to survive high up in the sky. Imagine the- Nope, nope, that's it. I know it isn't much, but it's a start, as this is the start of the new devlog. And yes, I did pay fake Morgan Freeman for this intro. Hi guys, while I was burned out with game dev, I play a ton of raft. I love that game, I love the adventure, I love the raft building. So I want to recreate something similar. As it wasn't bad enough with one year pause of game dev, I also decided to try completely different game engine. This will be fun, let's go. As you saw from this, I'm not the best at art and you should see my 3D models. Luckily my friend joined me in making this game. He is great at Blender, he's learning Unity and he's also a great coder. So we will tackle this game together. We started from the first person controller that Unity provides and got to work on the airship right away. We added a floor and simple ship steering controller and third person camera for ship movement. We started recording a bit later into the process, so don't worry, I will explain everything. This right here is a compass. Right next to it is a wind indicator. The wind affects the ship and moves it accordingly. This right here is supposed to be a sail, I know, rotate it based on wind and you go faster. Let's talk about the world. We want to have like multiple islands pre-created that will be randomly spawned all around your ship with some parameters like island distance, number of islands allowed around the ship in some radius and stuff like that. Floating islands will have some resources for you to gather to further upgrade your ship. Here we can see the generation in progress. I will go into more detail in the future episodes once we have something more than these cubes. Falling from the ship now teleports you back onto it and we added a small engine to explore our newly generated world. We needed to tackle one crucial thing right from the beginning because it's like a crucial part of this game and that's the building system. This also deserves its own video, but let's talk about it quickly. We started with simple non-grid placement with some preview. These seem to work, so we move on to snapping logic. First we try to determine which part of the foundation you are looking at and spawn the new foundation with an offset. This caused problem later on when we try to rotate the ship or where we try adding walls. The complexity grew rapidly, so we tried another approach. Every building object has these invisible colliders on it with all the possible placement of other objects. For example, foundation has four foundation colliders all around it and four wall colliders on the correct spots. Now, when the player aims at this spot, we cast Raycast and spawn Preview Mesh. You should be able to destroy objects that you placed, so we added it. Now when you hold the button X in building mode, you get this nice progress bar and object will be deleted. Now that we have some basic building system done, we added some models. The foundation and the wall. It's really starting to look like a proper game now. Switching between different building objects was a pain, so we added a toggle menu where you can choose what you want to build. Ok, let's do a speed round of improvements. So we added new doors, openable by interacting, we added interaction prompts, started stairs, stairs done. Railing model, window model and self-opening doors. Coding inventory system is hard. Yep, that's true, that's true. I spent a ton of hours on building system, but finally got to the point I'm pretty pleased with it. We have the UI, dynamic slots for inventory and also hotbar, item stacking, item dropping and pickup, hotbar navigation with scroll wheel or keys, 
I'm quite proud of it, even though there were some hiccups along the way. Thanks so much for watching, see you in another devlog, bye. Subscribe.